All right, great job today. Sorry about my eye being so crazy. Um, so, I would just like to say, very good job. You're understanding the theory parts of this is awesome. Um, being understand that in the key of C, no sharps, no flats. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is starting by playing a C, open. Taking your second finger and playing a D on the second fret. Playing E, open. Your fourth note is going to be an F on the first fret. You're going to skip the second fret and go to the third fret to play the G for your fifth. A, open. B with your second finger on the second fret. And then the resolution to C. So the whole way we look at this is a major is a whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. And D to C is a half step. So no matter where you do this, it makes a major scale. I'm going to end on E here. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp. D sharp, because that's a D. So what we're looking at, no matter what key we do this in, we're going to be changing it up, and we're going to be seeing that adding sharps and flats is going to be something called key signature. So in the key of C, no sharps, no flats. But when we go five notes over, C, D, E, F, G, G has one sharp. In the key of G, it's F sharp. If I were to play an F, it wouldn't be the F sharp, it would have been the F. Thusly, it wouldn't have had Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, rather than Ti, Do. So that seventh note is what we consider a lending tone. And you would know it as being in the key of C, having a C major. And then if we go down a half step, we'd have C major seven. And then C to a B flat is a whole step. Because C to a B is a half step, C to a B flat is a whole step, which would make a C dominant seven or a C seven. So what we're working with is, you can do that to any chord. You can make your G major a G major seven or a G dominant seven. You can also make your G major a G minor by changing your third scale degree. Your third scale degree in a G major is a B. If you want to have a G minor, you need to flatten that B to a B flat. In an A major, your third scale degree is a C sharp. To make an A minor, you flatten the third. And you get rid of that C sharp. So, where you're at right now is you should go through all your notes. C major, C minor. D major, D minor. E major, E minor. F major, F minor. G major, G minor. A major, A minor, B major, B minor, and then our C again. And be able to tell your C major, your C major 7, your C dominant 7, your D major, your D major 7, your D dominant 7, so on and so forth using that same, uh, I guess, uh, theorem, that same variable, changing that half step on the third scale degree. So, that leads us to being able to play full chords and doing different rhythms. So, with all of your chords, let's change that down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, to a rest, down, rest, down. Influencing reggae. So with your F, F, F minor, F major. We're going to do F major in the second fingering here. second fingering. We're going to move it up one half step and we're going to add our first finger down on the C string for a C sharp. Ready? This chord right here is going to look a whole heck of a lot like what we were calling the G7 or the B minor, but it's not up here. 
with our finger on the F making it, it's with our finger on the C sharp making it, and then adding our pinky for the C sharp, thusly giving you a F sharp minor. So let's work on the F major, F major second position, F minor in first position, F minor second position, and then F sharp minor with all of our fingers on the fret. You could also do that with different rhythm structures, but that's what our technique is for the week. We'll see you next week, and hopefully, when you're doing this and playing with the B, B flat, or B minor 7, here's an A minor 7, B flat minor 7, B minor 7, what we're going to start doing is doing a little bit of more finger picking over here. So be more mindful when you're doing your down, bang, boom, boom, that with these chords, we could do... Whatever we want to do, we can add other notes in there. And then um, let me show you that rhythm technique we we're talking about as well. So we've got two four with one two, one two, one two. Once you get this, forget you're doing it and have one two three, one two three. And if you take away the two four, you've got triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.